Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable. Uh, be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. It's the moments in life, the decisions you make on a moment-to-moment on a, on a -moment basis that add up to be the guy or not the guy. Tonight, I did something, you know, that I feel more of a guy for me, who I am, my guy. Make the hard decisions, make the sacrifices, make the unpopular decisions, and become comfortable in your own skin. And if you are not a person that you are comfortable being alone with, that is the one person in this universe that you have full power, full right, and full responsibility to change. If you were to create a human, what would you put them through to make them tough? It probably wouldn't be a really chill life. What would you put them through to make them patient? We probably wouldn't give them things immediately. And so it's like we want these traits, but each of the traits has a price tag attached to it. And it's just like, do you want to pay the price tag to get the thing? And so I think if, if people reframed the, the, the period of life that they're going through as the price that they're paying out of their wallet, but the wallet is their time, as the seconds of life that they're trading for it, then I think more people would be willing to make the trade. Because at least when I look at myself, like when I'm 80 something years old and I'm looking back at my life, I want to have these traits. But in order to have those traits, I know I have to go through these things. And I think for me, that's given me a lot of comfort in hard times. Right now in life, your family is looking for that one guy right now. They're looking for that one guy who's strong, who's that pillar for the family in hard times. Make sure they look around, they look around and find you. These are the times right now for you to step up. Be that guy that can take anything. Stay hard. The biggest regret of the dying is never becoming your ideal self. I do believe that we're thrust in a world that we don't fit in. And I believe the journey is that a lot of people sell you a bill of goods along the way. That if you get some awards, you mean something. You go to a certain school, you got it. You're cute, classical beauty. You got the right man, you got the right zip code. And you swim through all that filthy swill until you come to the really, really stark conclusion that I want to leave this earth becoming who I know deep within I, I am supposed to be. The next time you want to just give in to that desire for comfort, remember that your future self is going to be the one to suffer the consequences. It's so easy to just put it off and act like it doesn't exist that future self that you're passing all these burdens to will one day be yourself of the present and you'll wish you chose to do otherwise. Everything that you do counts. The biggest mistake that people make is they think that only what they want to count counts. No. When you read a book, when you listen to an audio program, when you go to a course, when you go to bed early and get up early and you work, it all counts. Never can apologize for being yourself. If people don't like how you act, how you look, how you speak, that just means those aren't your fucking people. Don't change who you are to match your surroundings. Pick better fucking surroundings and be yourself. Yeah, I don't know, most men would understand that when a man cries and he's whimpering, he's hurting. You know, because I've been there. And there's no shame in crying, gentlemen. Men, <laughs> it's okay to cry. We can still be a man, but you're also human. And it does show a little bit of your vulnerability. Do it for your loved ones. Do it for your wife. Do it for your husband. Do it for your children. Do it for generations to come. Come on, after you're dead and gone, what will they say about what you did? Yes, there's so many people depending on you, but it's got to start with you and the man upstairs. If you want to be great, oh man, prepare to get up off that mat. You're going to get knocked down over over and over and even when you feel like no nobody it, I can't be hit this hard or if you're down there thinking it's no way I can get up from this that's when you're just starting for some strange reason this world wants to see you water down the reality of who you are our society wants to see you think like everyone else 
and feel just like those around you. Maybe for somebody who's so distracted from their true desires as a person, that doesn't sound so bad. But the pain of seeing through limitation in full absence of distractions is almost unbearable. You see, it hurts because the resistance wants you to give in and mold to what's expected of you. And if I can provide some advice, don't. I don't know where you are in your game of life. You may be in your third quarter. You may be in your fourth quarter. Come on, you're not gonna live forever, not in this world, come on. You may be in your first quarter, your, your second half, and this time it's gotta be personal. See, last time you were just running through the plays. Last time you were just running the songs that you rehearsed in rehearsal. Last time you were just going through the motions and you got numb, come on, and you got tired and weary, and now you're broken and bitter and angry because you lost. And I'm just wondering if you're courageous enough bold enough, if you have enough faith, come on, if you have enough inside of you resilience to come back to the scene. This life is relentless. You better keep coming back from all your failures, all your doubts, all your shit. You better keep fighting, keep getting up. Never fucking lay down for shit. That's one thing we should all agree on. If you've been broken once, you know how that shit feels. That means Fuck it! Try and break me again! You, know, you got a lot of people playing their hard-earned money to come watch you perform. 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 It's your job to be in shape. It's your job to be strong enough to perform at that level every single night. And as a competitor, I'm not, I'm not ducking. Like, it's not, oh my god, my back hurts, I'm sore, we gotta play Vince Carter and Toronto Raptors tonight. Pick your mountain. Mm. Whatever that mountain is, and each journey up the mountain is a million steps, and each day you have to take that step. Yeah. Each day you take that step, you look up at the mountain, you say, that's where I want to go. Mm -hmm. And then each next day you take your step over and over and over again. Everything was done to try to learn how to become a better basketball player. Everything, everything. And so when you have that point of view, then literally the world becomes your library to help you to become better at your craft. Let yourself go, fall free into it. Step into it, you are worthy. You are an unrepeatable miracle and there is none like you in all the earth. There will never be another you. Your DNA, your fingerprint, come on. Your gait, your presence, your authenticity, come on, you're special. You're special and you're necessary.